So hello um, everyone, uh, Rhonda here again, and I'm trying to get these videos out. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just want to share a quick vision I had when I was in prayer last Wednesday of a major city um, being hit with missiles. I saw a really tall buildings going down and fire was everywhere and it was like total chaos um, and destruction. And so I asked Holy Spirit, what is this? Um, I knew it was in the United States, but he told me, he said, this is going to happen. He didn't give me a time frame. He just said it's going to happen. And so, uh, I also know that, um, the week before that I went to go pray for, um, America. And before I could get the prayer out, the Holy Spirit told me no. He, I, before I could say, God have mercy, he said No. Because God has already had mercy. Some things, y'all, we think we can pray away. You can't pray it away because it's the judgment of God. Um, we're seeing uh, the Bible unfolding daily. And a lot of people think, well, if I pray, then it won't happen. No. Pray for yourself. Um, pray for your other brothers and sisters in Christ. Pray for um, the backslidden family members and friends and people you don't know that need to come to God. But I became very grievous, uh, grieved when the Holy Spirit told me that not for America, but for the Father, because of what he dealt with, knowing that people don't want to turn from their sins. It's not his will that any man or one may perish, but that they all come to repentance. And so the Holy Spirit started showing me stuff in the spirit, like I, the child sacrifices the um abortions millions of abortions killing the babies to where they even have it now where you can kill babies um full-term babies um it was it was a lot of stuff and i started weeping y'all because it was really sad like it broke the father's heart he he can he feels too just like we feel and he's not pleased he's not pleased this nation is not innocent like how people think it is. So the Bible says, save yourself from this untoward generation. And we should always be in prayer for ourselves and, you know, those attached to us and, and lost mankind. Um, but the fact that it matters, some people just don't want God and they're not going to repent. So make your calling and election sure. Make sure God is pleased with you in the life that you're living and that you will be found worthy. God bless.